Paramount is no longer the home of Star Trek. Welcome to Star Trek, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So last year, the good Star Trek movies, not the J.J. Abrams movies, the good Star Trek movies moved from Max, HBO Max back then, to now Max, or whatever it's called this week. It might be called something completely different by the time I release this video. But they removed from Max over to Paramount Plus, and Paramount Plus became the home of Star Trek. As at the start of this year, though, in the United States, those movies, the good Star Trek movies, not the J.J. Abrams ones, the good ones, moved back from Paramount Plus to Max, and they're no longer on Paramount Plus. So, Star Trek is no longer the home of Star Trek, especially considering Prodigy is now on Netflix. Now, we've been talking a lot on this channel about Paramount's problems and how it hopes to use Star Trek to actually generate income, and how it will only be able to make certain Star Trek projects if it actually, like, farms them out to other studios, something it was doing a few years ago, obviously Picard season one or two were only on um, Prime, uh, Lower Decks the same. But then they all moved over to Paramount Plus during this whole process of, the, of Paramount basically desperately trying to make the streaming service work. They spent way too much money, it didn't work, and now they're going back to that original business model. But more than that, we hear these rumors about Warner Brothers and Paramount potentially merging. Now, that merger, I'm being told, will be of what we know, used to know as Paramount. So the Paramount movie and TV company, not CBS. CBS and Paramount will split once again, like they did a few years ago. And Paramount will hopefully merge with Warner Brothers. And the current owners will continue to own CBS, which will be kept separate. Star Trek is moving, apparently, towards becoming its own entity. And they're going to create Star Trek studios by potentially buying out Alex Kurtzman from Secret Hideout and creating Star Trek Studios, which would then control the IP. Now, it's unclear who would actually own that company, but they would be producing Star Trek. The plan long term is for Star Trek to become almost its own entity, that it would exist on several different streaming platforms, as it has done the last few years that movies could be produced by different production companies, as it has done the last few years, and that basically they would try to make this big, almost multi-platform franchise that wouldn't just belong to Paramount, but Paramount would take advantage of it, i.e. they would get in the money, but other people would be taking the risk. This is just one more example of us moving towards that, as Paramount are using its own franchise, its own money, to, but taking the money from HBO. They're allowing HBO to give them money. Now, this again is just moving towards this final goal, and it's an interesting one. But what do you guys think? Star Trek in America is no longer solely on Paramount Plus. The original movies, not the J.J. Abrams films, the good ones. I'm being sarcastic. I like the J.J. Abrams movies. They are actually good films. They're just not Star Trek. So the original Star Trek movies, they're all now on Max. What do you guys think about that? And what does it say about the long-term plan for Star Trek? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. And it's really interesting now that everyone in Hollywood has got back to work and there are some interesting rumors and news coming out already. I've got a couple more videos coming up, but one particularly about Stargate that I think you're gonna be very interested by, so keep an eye open for it. In the meantime, I will get news out to you as quickly as I possibly can. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video and come back and meet us where we're going to be talking more about sci-fi. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.